to start my spot coloring, the first thing I need to do is open a file. So I'm going to go to File, Open, and go to whatever photo I'm going to, I plan to work on. Once I have the photo up, the first thing I'm going to do is go to the fifth tool down, which is my crop tool. This is where I'm going to make determinations on the composition and what extraneous stuff I can go ahead and get rid of. So for example, I'm going to go ahead and bring this down and bring this over. So it's really about the leaf, not so much about all the extra stuff. I can either hit enter or do the check mark. Once I've done this, I'm going to go down to um, the bottom of the layers panel and click on that circle that's black and white. Click levels. And this is where I'm looking for, do I have white, do I have black, do I have a midtone? Currently I have black, I have a midtone, I don't have any white. So I'm going to drag this over. Notice how it starts to bright up the picture. I could, if I'm feeling like I'm missing some darker tones, go ahead and move that over just to adjust it. So you can see that's what it was before. This is what it is now. To hide this properties panel, I just have to click the properties icon and I'm back to being able to see my picture. If I need to see those icons again, I'm going to click on the properties panel. Once I'm done with the levels, I'm going to go ahead and jump into clicking that circle again and choosing black and white. Again, if I want to get rid of this off the screen, I'm just going to click the properties panel and I can see my picture again. Everything, both of these levels are white because I can see everything and it's being affected by everything. So black and white is turning the whole picture black and white. In order to bring back that one color, I'm going to go to my paintbrush tool and I'm going to make sure that my foreground color is black and I can go over here to this arrow and just flip them so that black is now in front. I'm going to go ahead and start painting because I'm going to bring in my leaf again so that that's my bright spot colored pop of color. Remember I'm not doing something that's black or white or gray or brown. I'm using my bracket keys on the keyboard in order to make my brush smaller and just painting my leaf. If I screw up, I'm going to switch this to white and paint over wherever I made the error. So again, flipping it back, I've got black on my foreground, and I'm going to continue painting my leaf. And throughout this, I can always shrink my brush down when I get to these smaller areas so that I don't have any problems with the edges. Again, shrinking my brush down as I get further up. Now if I'm getting to a point where it's really hard to see, I can use control plus on my keyboard. And now I can get in a little closer to it. And again, using my bracket keys to get in real tight, make sure I'm doing this real cleanly because I want to make sure that my craftsmanship grade is the highest it can be. And continue painting. Make it a little bit bigger now because it's going to be a little easier to get in with a bigger brush and get all the way up to the edges as close as possible. Being this close lets me see everything really close up so that all of my edges, there's no question. So at some point you should zoom in to at least double check that you have gotten everything that is possible as far as edges are concerned. Again, being mindful of how big my brush is. If I'm working in a small area, I'm going to use a small brush. If I'm working in a larger area, I'm going to use a bigger brush to make sure that I'm not wasting my time. I want to be as efficient as possible at this while not making mistakes. As a reminder, if I screw up by being on the last layer, I can always use Control Z to go back a step, or I can go to my history panel and click further back 
in order to undo. So you see some of the colors disappearing, but I don't actually want that just to disappear. So I'm going to click down here and it's back again. But if you make a mistake, you can use this history panel to go back. Once I've gotten it to my liking, I'm totally colored in on everything. And I can kind of look over here. It looks like there's some white areas in the middle of this. So I'm just going to use a bigger brush real quick and try to fill those in. And you can kind of watch over here. I'm getting those filled in black. So once I'm happy with it, I'm going to go and do, ahead and do File, Save As. And I'm going to type my last name, underscore, first name, underscore. If this is my location one photos, I'm going to do LOC, one, edit, one. Or if it's my second edit, edit two, edit three, edit four, edit five, or edit six. I need this file to be a JPEG. I don't want to change anything on the writing part. I want to go down to Format and change it to JPEG. Then I would click Save. Eight's a pretty good number. I'm going to click OK. And now this file is saved and it's a JPEG. And I can see that in my um, H drive if I go to uh, find this. So once I've done this, I'm going to go ahead and upload it to Google Drive or I can finish all my edits first and then upload all six to Google Drive.